Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to go over this. I've been talking to friends, family, and associates, and people for four years now um, about the paper fiat currency that you are holding um, possibly in your local bank. Uh, in the, Well, you can see on the screen here, savings account. It's actually it's um, a um, depreciating um, account. Um, Okay, so here is a screenshot. Uh, you can see that I blacked out some information and also uh, the names of the different accounts um, because this is a bank that I bank at. Because, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, you still have to bank um, with the banksters uh, because uh, that's, you know, I mean, how you pay your, how you pay your bills and all. Um, through your checking account or um, whatever money in your savings account for now for as long as um, for as long as that uh, fiat paper currency uh, is in existence okay so let's cut to the chase here we have um, savings accounts okay um, so you can see up on top left there uh, savings accounts and um, down here uh, money market savings accounts okay uh, Regular savings account, savings account. All right, so what I would like to do, I don't know if I could bring my pointer in here or not. Let's try it and see if she works. Uh, here we go. Okay, so let's just take a regular savings account. All right, here. Okay, regular savings account. All right, shoot down here. Okay, this is what they're giving you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, 0.01% APY2. APY2, that's the important thing right there. Okay, APY2. So they're paying you 0.01%. Whoop de doo. Um, the last report I saw, um, the uh, statistics, government reporting, um, inflation rate at um, 0.08. Okay, or 0.8. I think it was 0.08, but whatever. Uh, so 0.01 is way below. The rate of inflation. So, ladies and gentlemen, whatever uh, paper fiat currency you have in your declining savings account, okay, you're losing every day that it's there. You're losing, okay. Um, please, I'm trying to wake wake people up. All right. So let's um, go over to. Let me see what I have here. Hold on. Annual percentage yield. That's what I was just talking about. If we go back up to. Here is your annual percentage real annual percentage yield two. What does that two mean? Over here you have uh, 0.03 APY one. Okay, but over here two on your regular savings account. And here's another savings account over here where they're gonna still pay you only 0.01 APY two. All right. So what does the two mean? Okay, so it's annual percentage yield. Here's what the two means, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here's what the one means. Uh, if you can see here that um, definition of annual percentage yield APY1, the effective annual rate of return, uh, taking into account the effect of compounding interest APY is calculated by equals one plus periodic rate, uh, periodic minus one. Okay, the resultant percentage number assumes that the funds will remain an investment vehicle for full 365 days. That's at your APY1, one year. Again, very important. The resultant percentage number assumes that funds will remain in an investment vehicle for a full 365 days. That's one year. So if that was a two up here, APY2, it has to stay there for two years. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to take your money out before the one year on APY1 or before the two years on APY2, guess what? you're going to pay a penalty for taking your own money. Isn't that very kind of them? People, please wake up. Let me throw in a disclaimer here real quick. I do not give financial or legal advice. Seek your trusted professional for that. I'm just telling you what I see and what I do. So, yes, you still have to have your, your saving, well, maybe not your savings account, uh, but your checking account, okay? Um, some checking accounts pay uh, interest, uh, and um, but for the normal um, person, the um, 
everyday worker, okay, their checking account is the uh, minimum checking account or starting checking account where they don't pay any interest. Okay, and if they are paying it any interest, it's still way under the rate of inflation. Okay, so uh, there's your definition of the annual percentage yield. Isn't that very kind of them? So again, uh, what, I'm tr what I do, okay, and what I what I'm telling people, even though again with the disclaimer, I do not, I'm not I don't have a financial degree or financial license, okay, financial advisor license. This is just my opinion and my opinion only. You seek your professional. Um, you trust a professional for that and make your own conclusions. But ladies and gentlemen, it's in black and white right here. Okay, they're paying you under the rate of inflation, way under the rate of inflation. Okay, now let's go on over to, uh, let's see if I have it up here. All right, U U.S. inflation rate calculator. All right, just for the heck of it. Okay, let's put in, um, let's say here, let's put in uh, about the cost of, uh, a gram of gold uh, in today's market, um, depending on where you go. So let's put in sixty dollars, sixty U.S. dollars. Okay, uh, from 1980. Uh, let's let's calculate this. See what it is in 2014. Okay, so uh, sixty dollars back in 1980 has the same uh, buying power as 172 38, 172 dollars and 38 cents today. Okay, so basically with that, with that saying, ladies and gentlemen, what you could purchase in 1980 for $60, now it's going to cost you $172.38. Okay, more than twice the amount. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about precious metals, specifically gold. Or silver too, but specifically gold. Ladies and gentlemen, what you could purchase uh, back in 1980, okay, or even back 100 years ago, let's say back 100 years ago, with uh, an ounce of gold. Now, gold was uh, around that time $35 uh, an ounce. So, what you could purchase uh, back then, uh, say a fine man's suit and clothes and ties and leather shoes or what, whatever, whatever you could purchase um, for $35 back then, just go Google it and you'll see what you could purchase back 100 years ago with $35. Um, dollars with uh, one one ounce of gold okay not with 35 dollars but with one ounce of gold and see what you can purchase and you can also see what it, what 35 dollars purchased 100 years ago um in, in cash 35 dollars cash what you could purchase with that ladies and gentlemen today the same ounce of gold will purchase the same amount of goods and services today gold holds its value it's not about the price it's a long-term store of value and gold holds its value. Okay, uh, cash back a hundred years ago, thirty-five dollars. Whatever you could buy with that. What can you buy with thirty-five dollars today? Back in a uh, hundred years ago, you could probably purchase a fine man's suit and a tie and uh, clothes, and maybe go out to dinner, uh, fill up your, your your car with gas with thirty-five dollars, and still have some left over. Thirty-five dollars today is going to get you maybe a movie. And a popcorn, if you're lucky with that, okay. And you're not going out for dinner or anything after that, or even before that, not on thirty-five dollars. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let me just. Okay, so here we are back. Okay, so here we go. Um, just brought this up here for you to um, see what I was what I was explaining. Um, uh, one ounce of gold. In 1936, $34.87. Okay, and you could purchase a uh, fine men's suit, $25, leather shoes, $6. Uh, you have $3.87 left over, okay, um, but you could fill your tank for a dollar, okay, and you can um, go out to see a um, fine movie and um, get yourself some um, popcorn or whatever, okay. And um, one ounce of gold, okay, today, $1,328. So you'll need an additional $1,293.31 to acquire that same one ounce of gold today, which back in 1936 was uh, $34.87. Okay, so uh, if one purchased an uh, ounce of gold back in 1936, 
and you know we're still around they'd be pretty old huh? <laughs> but if they willed it to um, their heirs okay and they had that same ounce of gold okay um they could uh, purchase all of those things again today um with that same ounce of gold okay so um there you have it it shows that the value uh, of gold uh, is constant it holds its value okay but um 35 dollars today okay uh is maybe going to get you uh, a movie and some popcorn if you're lucky uh and you can forget about anything else okay but with that ounce of gold uh you're going to be able to do a lot more you're going to be able to get all this over here plus go out to dinner plus um maybe even have a little left over depending on where you go so i hope that makes sense to you um trying to do my best um with the company that i'm with we don't can try and convince anyone to show you the statistics we don't promote gloom or doom we show you the value and hope that you get it please wake up people we're in trying times in a global economic disaster please wake up uh if you would like to find a way you know people tell me well that i can't afford i can't afford to purchase uh, gold okay well ladies and gentlemen that don't ask you to purchase anything what you do is just exchange some of your fiat currency that's in that um, declining paper uh account like i was showing you before and they only gonna pay you um let's see well there's a calculator but let's go back to the apy okay so you know they're only going to pay you the um the small percentage uh, on your on your apy and um that's just um ridiculous that you have to keep it in there that long where you get penalized if you take your money out um so it there is a way where you can take that uh fiat currency that you have in your savings account and actually um, trade it in without any brokerage fees and acquire yourself some gold and there's also a way where i can show you on how you can actually um, create some passive residual income so i'll put the links down on the bottom uh, of this video so where you can um, contact me and i'll give you information no obligation and um, we can open um, get you started to acquire gold and uh, open your, your gold savings account for free okay uh again here is the cpi inflation calendar okay so let's uh, let's just play with this one more time okay let's put uh let's say let's say 200 dollars okay back in 1980 you can probably get quite a bit of stuff with that you know 200 dollars in 1980 uh a lot more than you get today let's see calculate all right so what you can get in 1980 for 200 dollars is now going to cost you 574 dollars 60 cents ladies and gentlemen the value of your paper currency is um debasing they're printing out of thin air okay so it's, it's not going to be worth any more tomorrow than it is today here's proof right here 200 dollars back in 1980 going to cost you 574 dollars 60 cents today to purchase the same amount of goods and services don't you think that's going to cost you more tomorrow you better believe it ladies and gentlemen that's it Crazy Jersey Joe Minna here. Um, the links will be on the bottom. Contact me. I can show you how to protect and preserve your wealth, how to uh, protect yourself and your family uh, by a hedge against inflation. God bless you. Make a great day.